Ta-da! She's back. Hi everyone. How are you doing? I'm going to do some cooking. You're currently balanced in a Nutribullet, so if you fall, I'm sorry. How is everyone doing? How are your families doing? Are you all staying sane? Are you all still eating good food? Um, yesterday, I posted some videos of me making pizza. And I thought, well, that was a bit mean because I didn't teach you how to make pizza dough. So today, I will be walking you through how to make pizza dough. And if you can't be bothered and you just want to get it from the shop, that's totally fine. If you can be bothered and you have the ingredients, then let's get cooking. Um, and I'll play some music because that is really wrong to not be playing music during my cooking videos. To start with, oh no, don't fall. Okay, you're okay. Whew. There we go. We're gonna start with 500 grams of double blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna start again. Okay, we're starting with 500 grams of double zero pizza flour. If you can't find it on the shelves, order it on Amazon. This is what I did. It took about two weeks to arrive, but it came and then it's a project for you. Um, and then we're doing two grams of instant yeast. Uh, we are doing 300 milliliters of water. I'm going to tell you how to sort that in a second. And 10 grams of salt. Haha. -ha. Um, this recipe is actually from the Uni uh, oven recipe book. My, my pizza oven is an Uni oven, and they have an amazing recipe book um, that simplifies absolutely everything. So that's where I got mine from, and I I'm basically just telling you how to make their pizza dough. Um, I'm going to have to end this. Okay, so first, what we're going to need to do is activate uh, activate the yeast. Um, and by doing that, we need to have the water at a very specific yummy temperature for it to basically have a nice bath. We're going to pour out uh, 100 milliliters of the 300 that I told you to get. And then you're going to pop this in the microwave for a minute. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, then you're going to pop... Uh, your scales on and you're going to weigh out 10 grams of salt come on come on there you go and then we're going to weigh out two grams of instant yeast you may as well do it in the same pot because it's all going to go in the same thing in a minute one two great okay then you are going to put your hot microwaved water in the original cold water so that it gets to a nice even temperature and you are going to put this the yeast and the salt in there and you are going to whisk it oh! right. that will start to activate it and they'll get a bit bigger and it'll go cloudy and then once that is done, I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. I'm going to put that in the flour and we're going to start mixing. Okay, so I've let that sit for a bit. I've made a little hole in the middle of my flour where I'm basically going to put my yeasty, salty water. And I'm going to pour it right in the middle. And then with a wooden spoon, I'm going to start mixing. And you're going to mix until it becomes... Uh, one solid structure and keep on going and then when it starts getting less wetter you can start mixing with your hand um, and this is when your shoulder starts aching um, which is why at the moment my right shoulder is bigger than my left shoulder because I've been making a lot of dough <laughs> okay so it's starting to look like that you see I'm gonna keep on going and then I'll show you the end result in a second so I am by no means a pizza maker. I've just followed a recipe and, and learned how to make it. So please do not think I'm a pro. But um, in here, I've just got it clumped together in a ball and I'm just smushing it so it gets all the little pieces in the bowl. And then you're gonna pull it out. And I learned how to knead. I thought I knew how to knead, but apparently I didn't know how to knead. Um, I think my gran just pretended that I knew how to knead when I was younger. So I actually Googled YouTube um, how to knead pizza and I, I found this amazing Italian pizza chef who was explaining it and I certainly don't look as good as doing it as when he does but but I feel like it's something like this 
So you're gonna push, fold, push, fold, push, fold, push, fold, push, fold, push, fold. One thing that this amazing magical pizza man did say was that once you've uh, pushed it and folded it, you should only choose one way of turning it. You shouldn't alternate because then you'd be undoing all the work that you just did. So don't do that. Um, now I'm gonna pop this back in the bowl and you're all gonna hate me because I need to let it prove. Proving is basically where we give it time to allow it to expand. We let the yeast do its work and I need to let it prove for a few hours, but I will do videos in a few hours. I do have one question. As I said, I'm not a master of this at all and I'm sure lots of you pizza makers will help me here. Um, it has improved since the first time I made it. How do I get rid of the dimply things or does that just happen? Let me know.